I'm Gabrielle with Americans for Prosperity. Welcome to Torch Talk. Today, we're sitting down with Senator Steve Daines of Montana to talk about something called rescissions and Washington's habit of irresponsible spending. Senator Daines, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us today. Can you talk a little bit about Washington's problem of irresponsible spending and some things that you're doing uh, to try to rein that in a little bit? Well, it's one of my greatest concerns. I don't think we talk about it enough. Probably one of the most concerning trend lines that we can look at is where we are headed in terms of deficit and debt. In fact, by 2028, in, uh, in 10 short years, our debt is projected to exceed $30 trillion. By 2024, the interest on the debt alone is projected to exceed our total military spending. This has profound economic consequences for our nation. It also has profound national security implications. This is why we need to talk more about this issue. But the problem in Washington, D.C., is, is not fundamentally the revenues coming in, it's the spending going out. And that has to be addressed, and it concerns me greatly about what we do here for future generations. And so what are some of the ways that you see that for, for Congress to start to address this spending problem, just even if it's in the short term? Sure, well, as somebody who spent 28 years in the private sector, uh, I'm a chemical engineer, I'm not a lawyer, uh, I learned how to do math. This is a mathematics problem. We have to find ways to reduce spending. It was Ronald Reagan who said, this place spends like drunken sailors. But in all due respect to drunken sailors, at least drunken sailors are spending their own money. At least drunken sailors stop spending when they run out of money. That's not true in Washington, D.C. In a state like Montana, we're required to balance our budget. That's true of most states. If Congress fails to balance its budget, we shouldn't get paid. No balanced budget no paycheck. That's the way it works in the real world. D.C. is not the real world and we need to start behaving a lot more like the real world, insisting on balanced budgets. What does rescission mean? What should they think of when they hear this word and, and why is it important? A rescission means that dollars that are unspent from the prior fiscal year, we can return those dollars back to the federal government instead of continuing to spend it and I think we need to do it. It's about $15 billion. I realize that's a paltry sum of dollars in a, in a world here consumed by a $20 trillion debt here in Washington, but it's a good start. And so what is the timeline on something like this rescission plan? So there's actually a shot clock as part of the rescission package. We have until June 22nd to do this. So you only have so much time after these budgets pass where you can take these dollars that weren't spent, return it back to the government and reduce the debt. And so what can AFP activists do in Montana and around the country uh, to help champion this proposal? Pick up the phone, email, text, write a letter, write an email to the members of Congress telling them to support the rescission effort. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Senator Daines, for taking the time to sit down with us and give us kind of a rescission 101. Uh, we really appreciate it.